friends, myself Amar. In this video, I will discuss about JavaFX properties. Okay. Uh, here I will show you a simple program with which you will be able to understand what is the functionality of the JavaFX properties. Okay. Now in JavaFX properties are of two types. One is writable, another one is read only. Writable property means we will be able to set the value to the property as well as we will be able to retrieve, we will be able to get the value from the property. Okay. Another one is your read only property means we will be able to retrieve the value from the property but we will not be able to set the value to the properties. Okay. Now I will show you how to create JavaFX property in JavaFX by using NetBeans. Here I have already created the project. After creating the project, what you need to do is that simply right click in this package, new. After that, you need to choose Java class. And here you need to specify the class name. Here I have already given the class name as my property. Okay. Once your class is created, this class will be initially blank. Okay. Now, what you need to do is that right click here, insert code. And after that, click on add JavaX property. Now here, if you see, there are two kinds of properties. One is writable, another one is read only. If it is writable, then from this combo box, you can see what are the different writable properties. Okay. Similarly, if you choose read only, then you will be able to see what are the different read only properties. Okay. So in my case, I will deal with the writable property. Now here you need to specify the property name. Suppose I am giving the property name as num1 and after that here you need to choose what kind of property you want to create. Here I want to create a double property. I will choose double property. Now see it will be changed to double property right and after that you need to click on the ok button. Once you click on the ok button this code will be generated automatically. Okay. In my case I have given the property name as num. Now here if you see there are three methods created. One is get num, set num. This get num is used to retrieve the value. Set num is used to set the value to the property. And another method is created with the name num property. Okay. Now here it has a convention. Uh, the method name will be the property name appended with this property. Okay. Now once you have created this particular class after that what I will do I will go to fxml file means actually I will move to the scene builder now here if you see here I have created two buttons and I have given the text of the buttons as plus and minus now if you see plus I have given the ID of the button as btn plus and whenever I will click on this button which function will be performed add function Similarly, for minus, the ID is btn minus and which function will be called subtract. Now, if you see here in the property section, I have changed the text to minus and plus. That's why we are getting this text and I have taken a text field here. Okay. And in the text field, I have given the ID of the text field as txt result. Okay. This is the design which we have created. After that view, so sample controller skeleton. From here we have copied all these things as we have done earlier also. And in the controller, I have pasted it, right? Now, what I have done here, see. Here I have created the object of the class which we have created that is my property, okay? my property and the object name I have given as mp, mp equals to new property in the initialize method I have created the object and after that by using the set num as I told you the set num method will be used to set the value to the property. So initially the value of the property I have set as 0 okay and in the text field which we have created in that text field what I have done I have set the value to set the value we have used the set text method and what value I will set? I will set the value which has been set to the property. Okay. So to get the value from the property, we have used mp.getNum. Okay. What I have done, let me discuss one more thing. Uh, here I have created the object of the my property class. Initially, I have set the value of the property as 0 by using the setNum method. 
and after that the value of the property i am setting to the text field to do that i have used the set text method and to retrieve the value from the property i have used the get number method right now the speciality of the javax property is that we can associate events with the javax property such that whenever the value of the javax property will change uh, the program the javax application will be notified right so to do that what i have done mp dot num property this num property this extra function which has been created by java fx right because uh, in uh, in ordinary properties we have already setter and getter method but in java fx this num property method is a special method right so here i have associated mp dot num property means with the num property what i am trying to do i am trying to add a listener to do that we have add listener method after that we have used the anonymous class that is change listener which contains the method change method okay this means whenever the value of the property will change this event will fire this changed method will work and whatever we have written in the changed method that will work now what i have done in the changed method in the changed method i have written txt result dot set text mp dot get num this means whatever the value of the property is that will be retrieved and it will be uh, added to the txt result right now i have created two buttons there btn plus and btn minus now whenever i will click on this btn plus which method will be called add method in the add method what i am doing i am setting uh, the value to the property which i have created to do that we have used the method set num what value i will set first of all i will retrieve the value from the property and i will add plus 1 with the property to retrieve the value i have done mp dot get num this means whatever with the value of the property is one will be added with that value and that value i will set with that property okay now notice one thing here i am not uh, setting the value of the property directly to the text field i am changing the value of the property and whenever the value of the property will be changed automatically this changed method will be called and whenever this change method will be called it will set the value with the text result right similarly whenever i will click on subtract what it will do it will subtract the value by minus 1 from the uh, current value of the property right to do that i have written mp dot set num mp dot get num minus 1 okay and this is the entire code okay let me run this program Just wait for a while. Uh, we'll get the output. Yes, this is the output. Now, if you see initially, initially what I have done in the initialize method, I have set the value of the property as zero, and the value of the property I am setting to the text field. That's why the text field we are getting zero. Now, whenever I will click on the add button, plus one will be added with this property, and that property value will be added to the text field. this means whenever i will click on plus button the value of the property will change and whenever the value of the property will change changed method will work and in the inside the changed method the value of the current value of the property will be set with the text field right see similarly if you click on minus this okay this is how we work with the java x property okay if you like my video please subscribe my channel Thank you so much